Hello heroes and villains, welcome to Multiverse. A question that often comes back is, what do you have access to if you're a free-to-play player? Let's take a look. As a free-to-play player, you pretty much have access to all the missions in the open world of either Metropolis or of Gotham. Obviously, you can level up your character from level 1 to level 30. And then once you reach level 30, then you get access to various uh, content in the Watchtower. Once you reach level 30, you will gain access to some vendors in the Watchtower. You gain access to certain vendors like the Flash as soon as you reach level 30. But there are some vendors like Power Girl where you need a specific combat rating in order to be able to gain access to that vendor. In the case of Power Girl, you have to be combat rating 43 to be able to purchase gear from her. I have a various walkthrough from level 1 to level 30 and also I have uh, quite a few videos that shows what you need to do once you reach level 30. Uh, take a look at searching my videos for those videos. I'll try to put a link to some of those videos in the description down below. So as a free to play player you can level your character from level 1 to level 30 no problem. And technically you have access to missions up to tier 4. There are exceptions though like there are missions like uh, let's try to find one. There are missions like the flashback mission where normally you need to own the lightning strike DLC to be able to gain access to that mission. So you should have access to mission up to tier 4 but there will be some exceptions. Right now we do have the open episodes. So right now you have access to any missions uh, in the on duty menu as long as you have the appropriate combat rating to be able to gain access to those missions. The open episode should last for as long as we are in lockdown. So. Your guess is as good as mine as to when the open episodes will end. But right now, everyone should have access to pretty much all the content. Although if you are a free-to-play player, even with the open episodes, you will have some restrictions. There are missions that legendary player can play every day, that if you have access to those missions thanks to the open episode, you may have, to have, you may have access to those missions only two or three times a week. Uh, I'm not exactly sure about that. There are also things like the Vault. Uh, normally, if you are a Legendary player, you can play the Vault every day. If you are a free-to-play player or a premium player, then sadly, you gain access to the Vault only two or three times a week. And as a free-to-play player, you can access all the missions in the Events tab. Uh, right now, the current uh, DLC is the Legend DLC. We'll take a look at that a bit, uh, a bit later. Uh, normally, there are uh, at least uh, three or four missions with the new DLC, but uh, for quite some time, they've been giving us fewer and fewer missions. And in the case of the Legion DLC, we only really have two missions. Although there are missions in the open world, we'll take a look at those in just a minute. And as a free-to-play player, you usually have access to all the events. Like uh, right now, we have the Christmas Seasonal. So even if you're a free-to-play player, you should be able to play the Christmas Seasonal, same as everyone else's. We all have the anniversary event that is uh, just around the corner. So again, everyone should have access to the anniversary event. Doesn't matter if you're a free-to-play player or a legendary player. So right now, the new DLC we have in this universe online is the Legion DLC. Everyone should have access to that DLC until the next DLC comes out. So even if you're a free-to-play player, and even if you have a low-level character, you will have access to the Legion DLC. I think the minimum combat rating you need or the minimum level you need is level 15 to be able to gain access to the DLC. But obviously, in the case of some of the vendors, you will need combat training 310 in order to be able to purchase some of the gear or some of the rewards from the vendors. So if you go to the vendor and you cannot purchase the item, the, sadly, it's probably because your combat training is not 310. The game will raise your combat training to 310, but it is your actual combat training that actually matters for that. Like in this case, the combat training of my character is 174, but the game does raise the combat rating to 310 so that I can gain access to the DLC. One thing that I often hear people say is that you don't have access to cool stuff if you're a free-to-play player. It's not exactly true. If we take a look at the T Titan's equipment supplier, so even as a free-to-play player, you can purchase items from this character. And uh, way back when also, there was no level restrictions. So even though my character is not high level enough to actually play the Teen Titans DLC, I can still purchase items from the Teen Titans vendor. So it would give me access to some of the materials that the vendor is selling. And also what is required to purchase items from this vendor is source marks. Everyone can farm for source marks, so there are no reason why you cannot uh, get source marks and purchase items from this vendor. 
Like right now we have the Birds of Prey uh, vendor and technically, technically I should be able to purchase items from this vendor even if I do not own the, the Birds of Prey DLC. The one thing though is that the Birds of Prey vendor right now requires LexCoin. So that is the only reason why I cannot purchase item from this vendor. Eventually, in the long run, uh, they will change the currency to source marks. So eventually, I will be able to purchase items from this vendor, but not just yet. So here we have the metal part one vendor. Again, there's a few cool material. There's the drachma material, the drachma aura. There's some accessories we could purchase from this vendor. All we really need is uh, source marks and uh, we can purchase some cool items from this vendor. The T-Sphere accessory, the T-Sphere accessory is a cool one. The same is true again with the Tanagarian supplier. So again, there's uh, the 10th metal chroma, which is a really cool chroma set. There's some Enchman we can purchase from the supplier. There's uh, some uh, lantern uplink devices we can purchase from the supplier. So as soon as you gain access to the Watchtower, if you have uh, source marks, you should be able to purchase some cool items from those vendors. Here we have the Wonderverse vendor. Again, technically we do have access to this vendor. The problem is that we need the splinter coins to be able to purchase items from this vendor. And the only way we can get splinter coins is to play the Wonderverse missions. So until you can actually play the Wonderverse missions, you won't be able to purchase anything from this supplier. So sadly for the Wonderverse uh, supply bot alpha, you will have to play the Wonderverse missions to be able to purchase items from this robot. But there is the Justice League Dark Vendor, the Artist Supply Officer. Again, there's a whole bunch of cool items, the Conjob Bear Style, the Diamond Helmet, the Shadow Material, that's a pretty cool looking material, the, the Shadow Minions, the Demon Minions, so there's a, there's a whole bunch of stuff you can purchase from this vendor. All you need is source marks. And the same is true with the Atlantis Vendor. So here we have the Moonstone Material, the Helm of uh, the Atlantean Prince, so there's some cool items we can get from that. The Golden Age material, that's a really cool looking one. The Constricting Eels, that's the first accessory we had in this universe online. Again, all you need to be able to purchase from the, this vendor is Source Marks. So as soon as you have access to Source Marks and to the Watchtower, there's a whole bunch of vendors where you can purchase some cool stuff. So sadly, whenever I see people who are free to play player who say that they cannot get cool stuff, uh, that is not true. You can get cool stuff even if you are a free-to-play player. Sadly, you will have to farm for marks. Usually that is the, the excuse that I hear. That it's too hard to, to farm for source marks. So even if you are a free-to-play player, you have no excuse. You can farm for source marks and you can purchase some cool items from the various vendors. Sadly, one of the restrictions you have is that you will not really be able to use a broker. One of the restrictions as a free-to-play player or as a premium player is your cash limit. Like right now, as a free-to-play player, normally your cash limit is $2,000. So whenever you earn $2,000, everything above $2,000 goes into what is the escrow. I made a video about the escrow, so if you want more information about that, I suggest look at that video, or I'll put the link in the description down below. Uh, so if you are a free-to-play player, your maximum amount of cash will be $2,000. And if you are a premium player, your maximum amount of cash will be 3000 How do you become a premium player? It's quite simple. As soon as you spend $5 on this Universe Online, you become a premium player. For example, when I started playing this Universe Online, I started as a free-to-play player like a, a lot of other people. And I was a free-to-play player for about three days. And then I purchased, uh, I'll show you. After three days, I purchased the future Batman character. Although nowadays it seems to be 3 bucks, but way back when, you had to pay $5 to purchase the Batman character. So that was my first purchase, which made me a premium player afterwards. Sadly, one of the limitations you have is that when you want to use the broker... Well, let's take a quick look. Sadly, if you want to be able to use the broker, as you'll see, the prices are a bit expensive sometimes. There's a whole bunch of uh, cheap items that you can purchase uh, for a few bucks. But very quickly, prices will go up, and there's items that you will not be able to purchase if you are a free-to-play player. Like with $3,000, sadly at some point, there's a whole bunch of rare items that you will not be able to purchase with $3,000. Although, as you can see, there are some rare items that will cost you about a billion dollars. So in order to be able to play the broker game, and in order to be able to purchase some very expensive items, sadly, you pretty much have to be a legitimate player. 
to purchase an escrow token for five bucks, which would give you access to all of your cash. But it's not really worth it. Instead of uh, spending five dollars to purchase an escrow token for seven days, I would strongly suggest just subscribe for a month. If you subscribe for one month, it'll cost you fifteen dollars, so five dollars for each week, as if you were purchasing an escrow, and then you'll get one week for free. So if you really want to use a broker, I would strongly suggest just buy the bullet and uh, subscribe to DC Row. Again, you don't have to subscribe, but if you want to be able to purchase items from the broker, if you want to be able to play the broker game, you pretty much have to be a legendary player. If you play as a free-to-play player, normally you have access to two characters, so you could create two characters in DC Universe Online. Once you become premium player, as a premium player, you gain access to six characters. And as a legendary player, you have access to 16 characters. If somehow you create 16 characters in DC Universe Online, and then you go back to being a premium player, as a premium player, you will keep six characters. So if you are a legendary player and you go back to being a premium player, you will have to select which character you want to keep. And the characters that you will not select, uh, those will remain locked until you become legendary again. An option would be also to purchase additional uh, character slots. It costs uh, $5 if I recall correctly to purchase a new character slot. And you can purchase up to 32 characters total. As a free-to-play player, you will have access to a player called the Dive. It is pretty much a small base that you can have in DC Universe Online. So as a free-to-play player, you have access to what is known as a space base. And sadly, the space base was a free gift we got not too long ago, and it was available only for a limited amount of time. And next year, they should be able to give us the space base again. But right now, if you don't already have the space base, and sadly, you cannot get it until next year. You're gonna have to wait until next November to be able to get the space base again. But it shows you what a small layer looks like. So this is pretty much the, the same size as the dive, which is the small layer that everyone should have access to, even if they are free to play player. But here you can see, even though I'm uh, not a legendary player right now, I went back to being a premium player. I still have access to my somewhat bigger base. So I guess once you have access to a lair, this universe online don't take that lair away from you, but there are options that you no longer have, uh, sadly. So sadly, as a free-to-play player or as a premium player, you don't have access to the mainframe. Right? You have access to the mainframe, but you can't, you can't really use it. Like if I try to replace the cells, it will tell me that I have to purchase the lair system. I'll show it to you in just a minute. So sadly, as a free-to-play player, you can't really use your mainframe, can't really use your generator either. And you can't really use your dispenser for your mods, your sidekick, and all that good stuff. Also, you will not be able to use items like sidekicks, backups, orbital strikes, supply drops, and again, the tactical mods that you can have in your game. So sadly, if you have some henchmen or backups, you're not going to be able. To... So sadly, if you have henchmen or backups, you are not going to be able to use them. Like not too long ago, we got some uh, some lantern backups, and sadly, if you don't have the alert system, you won't be able to use them. So normally, you get the alert system if you do subscribe to DC Universe Online. The alert system is included in your subscription. If you are not a subscriber, then you will have to go to the marketplace and you will have to purchase the alert system. So the alert system is five bucks, and that is what allows you to be able again to use things like the orbital strikes, the sidekicks, the supply drops, and the henchmen. Once you do purchase the alert system, though, you have it forever, so you don't have to purchase it ever again. But again, if you do subscribe, you don't have to purchase the alert system; it will be included in your subscription. And one more thing you have access to as a free to play player is PvP. If you go to your on duty menu, you can see Arena PvP and you can see Legends PvP. So even if you are a free to play player, you can play PvP as much as you like. One issue though is that uh, right now, there's not that many people playing PvP. So for one versus one or two versus two, it shouldn't really be an issue. But if you try to play eight versus eight matches, it may take a while before you find a team to play those matches. It's sad, but that's how it is. The same is true for Legends PvP. And for Legends, usually there is at least one mission where you can play Legends PvP. Like uh, right now, you can see what we have access to is Trigon's Prison. 
missions you have access to as Legends PvE changes every week. There's also the Legends Practice. Uh, if somehow you don't know how to use certain Legends, you could go to the Legend Practice Room and you could practice using the Legends that your character owns. In order to, pre to purchase Legends, uh, you have two options. There are some Legends that you can purchase directly from the Marketplace, but there are also Legends that you can purchase in the Legends Vendor. Uh, in the Watchtower or in the Hall of Doom, there are Legends Vendors where you can go purchase Legend characters. Uh, let me show you. So there is such a Vendor in the Watchtower. So as you can see, I'm all the way down in the Watchtower. If you're not sure, you can look to the left. You can see all the items in the Watchtower. So all you, know, all you need to look for is the Legends Exobyte data. So just scroll through everything that's here and you should find the Legends Exobyte data sooner or later. Actually, two Legends vendors in the Watchtower. And the same is true in the Hall of Doom. So if you look into your tab for the, in the Hall of Doom, you should be able to find also the Legends Exobyte data in the Hall of Doom. So to purchase the Legends from the vendors, you need Marks of the Legends. And you get those Marks of Legends playing Legends PvP or Legends PvP. So you can see here in the Events tab, the Legends PvP gives you Marks of Legends. And the Legends PvP also gives you Marks of Legends. And the Legends PvP also gives you Marks of Valor, which is the PvP currency to purchase PvP gear. As I mentioned, you can play PvP as a free-to-play player. So you can play PvP Legends, which will give you Marks of Legends to purchase Legends. But it will, it will also give you Marks of Valor to be able to purchase some PvP gear. And if you take a look at the Arena PvP, Arena PvP only gives you Marks of Valor. So you're going to have to play PvP over and over and over to be able to get some, uh, some uh, PvP currency. And then you can purchase some PvP gear from our little friend here. This little guy here sells uh, weapons. And this little guy over here sells the gear that you need to play PvP. I have a video about the PvP gear, so I'll try to put the link in the description down below. But basically, you have to purchase the 97 PvP gear before you can purchase the 98 PvP gear, and so on. You have to purchase the 98 PvP gear to purchase the 99 PvP gear, the 99 PvP gear to purchase the 100 PvP gear, and the top PvP gear is 101. So in order to be able to purchase the higher level PvP gear, you have to purchase the lower level one first, and you have to purchase every level until you reach combat rating 101. Also, another thing you have access to as a free to play player is the Doom Metropolis map. Basically, we had the 80th anniversary of Superman not too long ago. There are a few missions that you can get from the uh, from the on-duty menu, like there's the last song mission over here. It requires level 10 or more. So as soon as you reach level 10, you have access to the Dome Metropolis missions, and you have access to here in this case the last song of Krypton. There's also an eight-player mission you have access to called Doomsday. Again, you need level 10 to be able to gain access to this mission. And as I mentioned, you have access to the Dome Metropolis map. So you'll see there's a, at least a handful of missions that you can play on this map. There's a couple of weekly missions and there's a handful of daily missions. It's a pretty cool looking map where you will fight the evil Doomsday. Also, you can see the daily planet outside of a, of a bottle. Uh, when I first played this Universe Online, I was a bit, uh, a bit bummed out. I was sad that the, the daily planet did not seem to be included in the Metropolis map. Turns out that it was included, but it is within the model. So it took me a while to realize that the, the daily, daily planet was actually there, but I couldn't see it because it was inside of a model. So at last, here we do have the daily planet. So as a free-to-play player, you do have access to a lot of content, but obviously you don't have access to everything. And there are items like the teleporter. For the teleporter, you have no choice. You have to bite the bullet and you have to buy it from the marketplace if you want to have a teleporter in your lair. The same with the armories. The game will give you your first armory for free, but then if you want to have additional armories, you will have to purchase them from the marketplace. It's sad, but that's how it is. Also, there are various amenities you can have in your lair, like a sword or vendors, like a mailbox, like a broker, a bank, but uh, you can purchase those from the marketplace if you want to. Or you could farm in Metropolis or in Gotham to get the missions you need to be able to get those items. Uh, I have a video, actually I actually have a whole playlist where I show how to get those items. One of the challenges that people had at some point when playing as a free-to-play player was to be able to repair their gear. 
uh, sadly I don't have any gear to repair. But as you can see, my cash limit is $3,000. So if I had to repair my gear and it would cost more than $3,000, I would not be able to repair my gear. Normally what you have to do is that you repair for $3,000, then you sell $3,000 worth of item, and then you repair again and you sell. Uh, in the past, it was a bit challenging to be able to get the enough items to sell to be able to repair. Nowadays, it's not so much an issue. You can stack colas up to 99. So you have a few stacks of colas in your inventory and you should be fine to be able to repair. So what I would suggest is that every time that you have, let's say $3,000 in your cash, buy three stacks of colas. Then you can sell a few items. The cash you have anyway above $3,000 will go to your escrow anyway. So as soon as you reach $3,000, you buy a few stacks of colas and it will give you enough items to be able to sell if you ever need to repair and you're low on cash. Sadly, if you are a free to play player or a legendary player, you cannot open Prometheum lockboxes without purchasing Prometheum keys. If you're a legendary player, you can pretty much open any Prometheum lockboxes you want. But if you are a free to play player or a premium player, you have to purchase Prometheum keys. So you can see Prometheum keys cost 80 cents each, but you can buy a pack of five for 320. I would strongly suggest don't do it. it, it it's not worth it. Uh, I have a video that I'll make soon about the Prometheum lock boxes, but just take my word for it. It's not worth it to open uh, to, to purchase a Prometheum keys. If you really want to, uh, what, what people will do sometimes is that they will play the game and it will accumulate 30 Prometheum lock boxes and then they will subscribe for a month and then they will open all those boxes. So if you really want to open those boxes, I will say just accumulate them. Normally they last uh, 30 days if I recall correctly, like you can see I still have 11 days before I lose uh, this one. So just fill up your inventory with the Prometheum lock boxes and then when you have a whole bunch of them, then subscribe for one month and then open, open all your boxes. It'll be much better than purchasing things. As a free-to-play player, there are things you don't have access to. For example, you don't have access to the shield weapon. In order to have the shield weapon, you have to either purchase the weapon from the marketplace, or you have to be a subscriber. If you are a subscriber, then you can create your character with the shield weapon. And if you do create a character with the shield weapon, and you are no longer a subscriber, like right now I'm no longer a subscriber, but I still have the shield, because that's, that's what I created my character with. So your character will keep the shield weapon, but you will not be able to create a new character with the shield weapon until you actually purchase the weapon or until you become a subscriber again. So if we look at the marketplace, as you can see the shield weapon, it costs 500 day, day break cash, so five bucks. There's also the utility belt. Uh, if you want to have a utility belt in order to be able to use uh, multiple items in your belt, sadly, it's going to cost you also $5. Could have sworn there was a bundle to purchase a whole bunch of those items together. And of course, as a free-to-play player, your inventory is a bit limited. You get more inventory once you become premium, and you get even more inventory if you become a legendary player. And also, you can purchase additional inventory slots, additional bank slots, additional character slots, additional auction slots, again, the bank slots. Also, as a free-to-play player, you don't have access to all the powers. So if you want to have, let's say, the Water Powers, Atomic, Munitions, Rage, Celestial, Quantum, Earth, Electricity, and Light Powers, you have to purchase those powers from the Marketplace. And as you can see, there's a Power Bundle where you can purchase all the powers. If you are a Legendary player and you create, let's say, a, po a character with Water Powers, if you become a Premium player, you will keep your Water Power. Now you can change the power of your character if you want to using a, a Power Respect token. Sadly, if you're a free-to-play player, you will be limited in the, amount, in the amount of powers you can select. So you will be limited to the free powers if you are a free-to-play player. If you want to be able to have access to all the powers, you have to be a legendary player, or you will have to purchase the power in addition to purchasing the respect token. Another thing is skimming. If you want to have access to skimming, sadly, you have to be a legendary player, or you have to purchase a skimming movement mode. As a free-to-play player, you have access to uh, super speed, acrobatic, and flight. But for skimming, uh, sadly, you have to be a legendary player or you have to purchase it in the marketplace. And you can see for skimming, it costs five bucks. 
to be able to get the power. Also, if you do purchase a skimming token, you will also have to purchase a movement type token to be able to change the movement of your character to skimming. You could decide to purchase a skimming ability and then create a new character, but if you want to change an already existing character to skimming, you will have to purchase the skimming token and you will have to purchase the movement mode token as well. But again, if you, as you can see, if you already create a character that has skimming when you are, when you are a legendary player and you become a premium player, your character with skimming doesn't lose his skimming ability. So as a free-to-play player, you have access to most of the content until tier 4. You have access to the, uh, the, the content in the events tab. You have access to the arena PvP, to the legends PvP. So you do have access to a lot of content. And right now, there is the open episodes. So technically right now, you, you have access to pretty much everything in the MPT menu. So you can play this universal online for free as a free-to-play player, but obviously you do not have access to everything. If you have any questions, feel free to ask so in the comment section down below, and I'll see what I can do about answering your questions. I have roughly 2,000 videos about this universal online at this point, so if I don't answer your question right away, just search in my videos. Odds are I already made a video that answered your question. Or click one of the videos that you see on your screen right now. Bye-bye.